This is a third video on moment of inertia. In this video, the topics covered are triangular section, hollow circular section, and semicircular section. <coughs> Let us see the first problem. When the moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis for an equilateral triangle having side B in N. Now this is a equilateral triangle. This is the height of the triangle which I am showing in dotted and the side is B. All the sides, three sides are B as it is given in the problem. Now let us say this is the horizontal centroidal axis XX now this axis xx will be from this baseline at a distance of h by 3 if i assume the height as h now this angle for the equilateral triangle will be 60 degree all the three angles will be equal and it will be 60 degree so if I consider this half a triangle, then sine 60, this sine 60 will be H divided by B, the front side divided by this hypotenuse, H by B. So, the height H will be equal to B sine 60. <coughs> now, the formula for IXX for a triangle is B H cube by 36. For H, we will substitute B sin 60. So, B into bracket B sin 60. Now, H is cube. So, B sin 60 cube divided by 36. Here, what you have to do is, this, when I open this bracket, it will become B cube and sin 30 cube divided by 36. B, we don't know. So, we will get the answer in terms of B. What we have to do here is, Press the buttons sin 60 on your calculator, then press is equal to, then you will get the answer, then press x cube button divided by 36 is equal to, you will get this answer 0 0.018 and this b cube into b will become b raised to 4 and mm raised to 4, the answer will be in terms of b what buttons you have to press buttons to be pressed on the calculator sign 60 then press is equal to then press the button x cube then divided by 36 is equal to you will get the answer 0 0.018 this is how you calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis let us see the next problem. The next question is, for a triangular section as shown in figure, MI about axis BC is equal to 1.55 into 10 raised to 9 mm raised to 4. Find MI about the axis DE if the area of triangle is 72,000 mm square. Now, how the triangle is the given figure, let us see. This is a triangle A, B, C. And moment of inertia about the axis BC is given as 1.55 into 10 raised to 9. The height of the triangle, this is the height of the triangle given as here 360. And this is a given figure. <coughs> Now the centroidal axis xx will be at h by 3, so 360 divided by 3 that is at 120. Now they have given moment of inertia about the axis BC. We cannot directly use the parallel axis theorem and calculate the moment of inertia about the axis DE. Using parallel axis theorem we will first calculate IXX. Let us see how we do it. IBC, moment of inertia about the axis BC will be equal to IXX plus AH square. 
where h is the distance between the axis xx and the axis bc so this is the axis bc this is the axis xx and distance between these two will be h by 3 that is 160 divided by 3 will be equal to 120 now substitute the value ibc is equal to 1.55 into 10 raised to 9 so this is ibc ixx we want to calculate area given is 72000 so substitute that area and this h here is this h underline and this height h does not have any relation this h is distance between the axis xx and bc so that is 120 so substitute here the value 120 and it is square <coughs> now do the calculations now ixx is equal to when i write it will the, this ah square when it comes here it will become minus so it will be 1.55 into ixx is equal to if i write it will become 1.55 into 10 raised to 9 minus this will become minus now because it has come on this side minus 72000 into 120 square now take the calculators in our hand and do the calculations 1.55 here press the button exponential 9 minus 7 2 you can press exponential 3 into 1 2 0 and press x square button is equal to you will get the answer 513.2 into 10 raised to 6 and it will be mn raised to 4 then we will calculate <coughs> again use the parallel axis theorem for the axis de and xx so moment of inertia about the axis de will be equal to ixx plus ah square now this h is distance between the axis xx and de so now distance between axis de and xx now this total height is 360 from here to here is 120 so the distance between de and xx will be 360 minus 120 that will be 240 so now substitute the value ixx we have already calculated here calculated the ixx here so the value will be 5.123 into 10 raised to 6 plus 72000 into now the h is 240 now h is not 360 or 120 it is the distance between axis de and xx and that will be 360 minus 120 that is 240 so now do the calculations 5.132 into 10 raised to 6 plus 72 exponential 3 into 240 press the button x square she will get the answer 4.66 into 10 raised to 9 mm raised to 4. Now let us see the problem here. Next question. The triangle ABC has the base BC is equal to 75 mm and vertical side AB is equal to 90 mm such that angle B is equal to 90 degree calculate a of the triangle about the centroidal axis and about side AB and BC now this is a triangle ABC BC is 75 so this B to C here I am showing 75 a to B is 90 which I'm showing here this is a B 90 mm 90 angle B is 90 degree and we have to first calculate the amount of inertia about the central axis now where the axis xx central axis will come at h by 3 so 90 divided by 3 will be this will be from the line BC at 30 mm and axis yy will be b by 3 that is 75 divided by 3 will be this is 25 from the line a b it will be at a distance of 25 mm now let us see how we do it 
Now Ixx the formula is BH cube by 36. For Ixx now the B is this is 25 and height is 90. Substitute the value 25 into 90 cube divided by 36. Take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations. 75 into 90 press x cube button then divided by 3 6 is equal to you will get the answer 1.52 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 the unit is mm raised to 4 then let us calculate i y y for the axis y y now it will become h b cube by 36 because this is a 90 degree so for the axis y y this will become the base and this will become the height so it will be hb cube by 36 substitute the values h is 90 this is 90 and this is 75 cube divided by 36 so h is 90 b is 75 hb cube by 36 Take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations. 9 0 into 7 5. Then press the button x cube divided by 3 6 is equal to. You will get the answer 1.05 into 10 raised to 6 and the unit is mm raised to 4. Now we want the moment of inertia about the side AB and BC. Let us see how we do it. Now moment of inertia about this line base bc will be bh cube by 12 we have already seen this formula this is a standard formula so substitute a value of b and h b is 75 it is 30 cube divided by 12 so take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations 75 into 90 then press the button x cube divided by 12 is equal to you will get the answer 4.56 into 10 raised to 6 it is mm raised to 4 then let us calculate amount of inertia about AB now for AB it will become HB cube by 12 so H is 90 this is 90 height and base is 75 so 90 into 75 cube by 12 so take the calculators in our hand and do the calculation 9 0 into 7 5 then press the button x cube divided by 1 2 is equal to you will get the answer 3.16 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 what you have to understand here is when this angle is 90 degree for xx if it is bh cube for yy it becomes hb cube that is what is important here to understand and similarly for bc it is bh cube and for ab it is hb cube now let us see the same problem and now we will calculate the inertia about the line AC how to do it now the same problem the triangle ABC has base BC 75 mm vertical side AB 90 mm such that B angle B is 90 degree calculate a mi of a triangle about the side AC now we want to calculate about this side AC this is 75 this is the base this vertical high side AB is 90 this is the triangle ABC and angle B is 90 degree now to calculate the moment of inertia about the side AC what we do is from B I draw one perpendicular on the axis AC so this is phi so this is the line from B I am drawing a perpendicular on the line AC and where it meets the line AC I call that point as B so this is my point D and this angle here is 90 degree now what we do is you first calculate this angle phi considering this 
ट्रायंगल ए बी सी दिस एंगल इज 90 डिग्री हियर नाउ कंसीडर द ट्रायंगल ए बी सी नाउ इन द ट्रायंगल ए बी सी tan 5 will be 90 divided by 75 so tan 5 is equal to 90 divided by 75 angle 5 will be tan inverse that is you have to press shift tan bracket open here i am showing it shift tan bracket open 90 divided by 75 bracket close is equal to you will get the angle 5 as 50.1944 what to do shift press the button first shift then press tan then bracket open 90 divided by 75 bracket close is equal to you will get the angle 5 50.194 so i got this angle now i want to find out this length bd what will happen i will consider ac as the base of the triangle and bd is the height of the triangle so i want to now calculate this length bd so i will consider the triangle dbc and now in this triangle sin 5 will be BD divided by BC let us see here consider the triangle BDC so I am considering the triangle BDC and in this triangle sin 5 5 of this sign will be BD divided by BC now this angle is 90 degree so sin 5 will be BD divided by BC sin 5 is equal to BD divided by BC if I want BD is equal to BC will come on this side so BD will be equal to sin 5 into BC now substitute a value sin 5 is 50.1944 so sin 50.1944 into BC the length BC given is 75 take the calculators in your hand do the calculations press the button sign then 50.1944 into 75 is equal to you will get the answer 75 uh, sorry 57.617 mm so now this length bd is will be the height of my triangle and length ac is the base of the triangle so how I calculate moment of inertia about IBC so now AC length is not given so I have to calculate the length AC now so to calculate length AC we will use Pythagoras because this angle is 90 degree so by using Pythagoras under root of bracket open 90 square plus 75 square is equal to bracket close is equal to it will give me length AC so how to do it take the calculators in your hand press the button root on your calculator see this under root button press that then bracket open 9 0 then press x square plus 7 5 then again press x square button bracket close is equal to you will get the answer 117.15 mm this is the length a c now IAC is equal to now this is the base so we want not to finish about the base so the formula will be BH cube by 12 and here B is equal to length AC this AC we will consider as base and height of the triangle H is BD H is equal to BD so substitute the value base is AC length that is 117.15 so 117.15 this is base b height is this length bd that we have calculated here 57.617 so height is 57.617 it's cube bh cube divided by 12 take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations 117.15 into 57.613 then press x cube button divided by 1 
2 is equal to you will get this answer 1.867 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so when you want moment of inertia about this side what you have to do is you have to draw a perpendicular from point B on this so this BD becomes height and AC becomes the base of the triangle and then use the formula VH cube by 12 and you get the answer let us come to the next question find the MI about horizontal centroidal axis for a hollow circular section of external diameter 100 mm and uniform thickness 10 mm also calculate mi about its tangent and i z z now the horizontal centroidal axis now this is a horizontal centroidal axis this is a hollow circular section and this external diameter given is 10 mm so this is 10 mm sorry 100 mm capital d is 100 mm so the axis xx will be at d by 2 so this distance will be 50 mm okay now this is the axis xx and this is the another vertical axis yy now i x x is equal to the standard formula is pi divided by 64 into bracket open capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 bracket close now i x x so let us substitute a value pi divided by 64 into bracket open capital D given is 100 mm so 100 raised to 4 now the thickness given is 10 now here is 110 and here is the another thickness 10 so small d will be 100 minus 10 again minus 10 that means 100 minus 20 so small d will be 80 for this thickness you have to calculate small d and that is 80 80 raised to 4 bracket close now do the calculation how you do it i am giving the steps here buttons to be pressed on the calculator shift then press the button pi divided by 64 into bracket open 100 now for 4 100 raised to 4 you have this up arrow in your calculator press that then press 4 it becomes x raised to 4 minus 80 again this up arrow 4 bracket close is equal to in few calculators to calculate 100 raised to 4 you, you will use 100 up arrow 4 or in few calculators it will be 100 and there will be one button x raised to y if it is x raised to y then press that button and 4 so that you get 100 raised to 4 and once you press the button equal to here you will see the answer is 2.9 into 10 raised to 6 then let us calculate mi about its tangent now I am taking ab as a tangent to this hollow circle and we will use parallel axis theorem i a b is equal to i x x plus a h square now what is this h h is the distance between the axis x x and a b this is h distance between the axis a b and the axis x x now here substitute a value i x x 2.9 into 10 to 6 we have calculated already here area of the hollow circle will be pi divided by 4 into bracket open capital D square minus small d square capital D 100 small d is 80 bracket close into now what is this h h will be capital D by 2 capital D is 100 and divided by 2 so this h will be 50 so here I have substituted it as 50 square that is the h here I have shown the h it is the distance between the axis xx and axis ab now take the calculators in the hand and do the calculations 2.9 here I am giving you the buttons to be pressed on the calculator 2.9 exponential 6 plus shift pi divided by 4 into bracket open 100 then press the button x square minus 80 then press the button x square bracket close into 50 then press the button x square is equal to you will get the answer 
9.97 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 few calculators they have this exponential button at the bottom line at the center of the bottom and few calculators nowadays have the button into 10 raised to x this button either it will be exp button or this button check in your calculator what you have and accordingly press the button and get the answer about moment of inertia about this tangent for calculating moment of inertia about ub you have to use the parallel axis theorem now let us calculate izz the moment of inertia izz will be using the perpendicular axis theorem ixx plus iyy or izz the formula is pi divided by 32 into bracket open capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 bracket close you can use this formula also but this is a very lengthy long formula for a circle we know that ixx and iyy they are equal so izz is equal to twice ixx so substitute a value of ixx from here 2 into 2.9 into 10 raised to 6 and 2 into 2.9 will become 5.8 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 this is a very easy way if you know the ixx then to calculate izz izz is equal to twice ixx and you will get the answer if you in the exam it doesn't click that izz is equal to twice ixx then you can use this formula also and you will get the same answer 5.8 into 10 raised to 6 let us come to the next problem find the mi about both centroidal axes for a semicircle of diameter 100 mm and also calculate mi about its diameter now the diameter given is 100 mm so this radius will be t by 2 now this is the horizontal centroidal axis and this is the vertical centroidal axis i have shown and this axis is the diameter axis AB. It is diameter sometimes or sometimes they call it a base. Now IXX, the formula for IXX when for a semicircle, the axis which is parallel to the diameter for that axis, it is 0.11 R raised to 4. So IXX will be 0.11 into 50 raised to 4. So take the calculators in your hand and press the button 0 0.11 into 50 then press the up arrow and 4 is equal to you will get the answer ixx is equal to 687 687.5 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 then calculate let us calculate iyy for this axis which is perpendicular to the diameter iyy is 0 0.393 r raised to 4 so 0 0.393 into 50 raised to 4 diameter given is 100 so don't substitute diameter here radius will become 50 take care sometimes students write here r and substitute while substituting they substitute here 100 don't do this mistake then take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations 0 0.393 into 50 press the up arrow or access to y button and then 4 is equal to you'll get the answer 2.456 into 10 raised to 6 and the unit will be mm raised to 4 then how to calculate mi about its diameter so this is the axis ab which is the above the diameter axis so iab is equal to remember that this is always equal to this perpendicular axis so iab is equal to iyy and the same answer you have to write 2.456 into 10 raised to 6 you need not write calculate you have already calculated iyy here so you need not write this formula you can directly say iab is equal to iyy and write the answer this is how you solve this problem let us come to the next problem For a hollow semicircular section of outer diameter 200 mm and inner diameter 120 mm, calculate MI about its diameter AB or base AB. Now, this is a hollow circular section. So, 
this yellow color is cut this is a hollow circular section outer diameter is 200 mm inner diameter is 120 mm and we want mi about its base or about its diameter so this axis ab is the axis of the diameter or the base how we do it what we do is iab is equal to mi of the outer circle about the base that will be 0 0.9 0 0.3 9 3 r raised to 4 this is moment of inertia of the outer semicircle about its base minus mi of the inner circle about its base minus m 0 0.393 small r raised to 4 this is the mi of the inner semicircle about its base take out 0 0.393 common what remains in bracket is bracket open capital R is to 4 minus small r is to 4 bracket close so 0 0.393 bracket open small r now outer diameter is 200 so the capital R will be 100 raised to 4 100 and inner diameter is 120 so radius will be half of 120 that is 60 and 60 raised to 4 bracket close so in this way you substitute a value take care that when you are writing r is to 4 uh, then the diameter is given so don't forget to calculate the radius don't substitute here 200 raised to 4 and 120 raised to 4 that care you have to take in the exam take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations 0 0.393 into bracket open 1 0 0 then press x raised to y or the up arrow and 4 then press 4 minus 6 0 up arrow 4 bracket close is equal to you will get the answer 34.21 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 this is how you do it here you don't have to calculate mi about its centroidal axis and then shift directly take the formula of mi of the outer circle about the base minus mi of the inner circle about the base this is a very simple way to do this problem let's take the next problem a rectangular hole is made in a triangular section as shown in figure calculate i b c we want to calculate moment of inertia about this line BC. This is the triangle given. The base is 100, 100 mm. Height is 90. And here this rectangle is cut. A rectangular hole is made. So this rectangle is cut from the triangular section. And we want to calculate the MI about the IBC after this rectangle has been cut. Now how to do it? Now first we will calculate moment of inertia of this triangle about the base and it will be pH cube by 12 as we know it. Then we will calculate we know for this rectangle moment of inertia about its horizontal axis that will be bd cube by 12 b is 20 and d is 30 bd cube by 12 about this red axis xx from this axis using the parallel axis theorem we will have to transfer the moment of inertia from this red axis to the axis bc how to do it ixx plus a h square now what is the h h is the distance between this x red axis and the line bc now where this axis will come now this height of this rectangle is 30 so center of 30 or half of 30 so from here to here it will be 15 and then from this line to this line is 30 so the distance between the BC and this red line is this is 15 plus this 30 that is 45 let us see it here moment of inertia IBC will be BH cube by 12 for triangle for this full triangle moment of inertia about the line BC will be B is 100 
and this total height of the triangle is 90 so 100 into 90 cube by 12 don't do the calculation just understand here this is IBC of the triangle about BC so moment of inertia about the BC for the triangle now moment of inertia about the base for this rectangle will be we will use the parallel axis theorem so 20 into 30 cube this is 20 into b d d is 30 b b d cube by 12 so 20 into 30 cube divided by 12 plus area of this rectangle will be 20 into 30 and h now this axis centroidal axis of this rectangle will be half of 30 so from this line to this line will be 15 and here to here is 30 so from the distance between bc and this red line will be 15 plus 30 that is 45 so that we have shown here 30 plus 15 that is the distance between the axis bc and this centroidal axis of the rectangle which is a red line which i have shown here so this is how we calculate moment of inertia of the rectangle about the axis bc then when i want moment of inertia of this full figure when the rectangle is cut about bc what i have to do is i take moment of inertia of full triangle and this rectangle is cut so i do this figure minus so moment of inertia this is the h height this is the height h which i am taking here distance between this centroidal axis of the rectangle and this is bc distance between these two is h this distance is 15 half of 30 this centroidal axis will be at half of 30 so this is 15 and this 30 so 30 plus 15 that is what here I have substituted 30 plus 15 this is h this h which I have shown here 30 plus 15 here is this red line from PC okay now how I calculate moment of inertia for the given figure for the given figure what we do is moment of inertia about the axis BC will be moment of inertia about BC for the triangle minus moment of inertia about BC for rectangle this rectangle is cut so we make minus IBC for rectangle now IBC for triangle is this 100 into 90 cube by 12 so 100 into 90 cube by 12 minus IBC for the rectangle is this so put this in bracket 20 into 30 cube by 12 plus 20 into 30 into now I have written this 30 plus 15 as 45 bracket square and close this bracket we have started this bracket here and closed this bracket here now take the calculators in your hand 100 zero zero into 90 then press the x cube button divide by 1 2 minus bracket open 2 0 into 3 0 then press x cube button divided by 1 2 plus 2 0 into 3 0 into 4 5 x square button bracket close is equal to 4.815 into 10 raised to 6 this is the answer which you will get and in the exam only these three steps are sufficient here I have added these steps for your understanding you can directly write IBC is equal to IBC for triangle minus IBC for rectangle and then substitute the values and get the answer Be a master. Thank you.